Kay Elementary Music Teachers, let me share this new game that I have with you because your kids are gonna love it. So this game is called Shark Attack and it is a like centers, small group kind of game that you can play where all you need is printable cards that you can get out of my TPT shop and each one has a different thing that you you know get out of it and the kids are gonna love it if you've ever played kaboom which is one of my favorites I'll link that down below but this is kind of like kaboom but like on steroids it's so great so here's how it goes everyone's gonna sit in a circle and you have a bunch of cards you can either have them in a bucket or you can have them just in a pile um, and then the students take turns drawing a card if they get a rhythm or a soulfish pattern, then they read the rhythm or the soulfish pattern. If they get it right, they get to keep it. If they get it wrong, they put it back or they put it in the bottom of the pile, if you're doing a pile. Then there are some other animals that they might get that all have different things. So we already said, if we get a fish, we're collecting fish, that's our goal. If you get a fish, get it right, you get to keep it. So if you get a piranha, then you have to put one of your cards back. So if I have you know three cards, I put one of my cards back. If you draw a shark attack, then you have to put all of your cards back, which is great because that means that the game never ends because eventually somebody has to put all of the cards back and then you start over. There's also a couple of other things that can happen. So for example, if you get a jellyfish card, jellyfish means you have to switch directions. So if we were going this way around, now we're going that way around. It's kind of like a reverse in Uno. Um, then we have a school of fish. If you get a school of fish, you get to draw an extra card. You also get to keep that one. So now you have, you know, like a bonus card. And lastly, we have the swordfish, which is the most highly coveted card. Because if you get a swordfish, you get to pick somebody else in the circle to put a card back. Which, you know, is always extra fun because, you know you get to pick. So this is a really fun card game. It goes on forever. You can use it with all sorts of different rhythms, melodies that are all in my TBT shop. It also comes with printable directions to help you out. And as with most of my stuff, it comes in color and black and white as well as um, regular and stick notation. So all the different features for you. Um, I chose to print mine front and back so that you have like the card the outside of the card on one and then the inside on the other. If you are gonna do it that way, I would suggest that you use cardstock so that it's thicker. So if one, it's gonna last longer. Two, it's um, harder to see through them. So if you have them in a pile, kids can't see what's on the other side. If you don't wanna print them front and back, then you could totally print them on regular paper or you could print them even on a like colored piece of paper, like on Astro Bites. Um, and if you do that way, I would definitely put them in a bucket so that that way it's harder to see, you know, which one it is before you pull it out. So. I hope you try this game. If you are going to try it, I would recommend it in centers or in small groups. It would be really fun like as a back to school review game and it would be really great to pair with some ocean themed activities. So I'm thinking like seashell seashell or um, sailor sailor on the sea or long legged sailor or something like that. I will link a whole video talking about lots of different sea themed activities you can do in your elementary music class down below in the description. And I hope you try it out. I will link it down below. And the first one may or may not be free. So go look.